Your success heavily depends on having an effective file organizing system. And without a thought through structure, you will lose files and time. And the earlier you start, the higher the payoff. In this video, I'm going to show you the ultimate file organizing system for 2025. I will show you step by step how to set up your folder structure. Then I will tell you the most important rules and conventions. And in the end, I will even give you my ultimate project template. By the end of this video, you will have the last file organizing system you will ever need. Let's start with the basics. The folders on your system are arranged in a tree structure. Think of it like the roots of a plant spreading underground or the shelves in a well-organized library. Everything has its own place and is connected in a logical way. To create an efficient system, we will start at the root, your hard drive, and then build from there. The first step is to create a top layer of folders. Let's call them your life buckets. These represent the most important areas of your life. In my case, they are personal, projects, media creation, media consumption, and university. Inside each life bucket, you can organize files and folders in different ways. Here are my approaches. By date, for example, 2024 or 2025. By category, like coding, 3D printing or laser engraving. By people, for different collaborators. Or by file type, for example, like MOV, movies or PDFs for books. You can also combine these approaches. For example, in my university folder, I start with a date-based structure and then organize by lessons within each semester. To keep things organized, it's crucial to have a consistent naming system for files and folders. Here's the system I use. For dates, I have three different versions. I have just a year for things that are not as important on which date they were created but they are rather in a year folder, so it's organized easily. Then I have year plus quarter, when I just need to know around which time it was. And then for specific dates, I have year, month, date. For example, 2025, 0, 1, 16. Then for topics, I just use the name of this topic, like 3D printing. Here, I try to avoid dashes so it doesn't conflict with the dates because I think it has the cleanest look and it's quite well searchable. You can also combine the year with the topic and it would look something like this. So if you use all these rules and create a folder system, you will come up with something similar to this one. Some people may have an organized folder structure but miss out on the most important rules for the file organizing system, which completely kills the efficiency of their whole system. Especially the third rule is often done wrong. But first, let's talk about another important thing. You need to write down your rules. If you don't write down your rules, they will change over time and your system will be ineffective. So create a file named 2025-01-16 and name it file organization rules. Now go ahead and put all of your naming structures in here. 2. Naming files. When naming files, be specific but not overly specific. So you can search for the file but it doesn't clutter the file name. A good example would be 2024 YouTube AdSense income. On the other side a bad example would be 2024 finances, YouTube, AdSense, income, taxes, government, calculation. And remember. Some keywords are already implied by the folder the file is placed in, so don't clutter your file names. 3. Organize your files where you will use them. This principle comes from David Allen, the author of Getting Things Done. If you organize your files by where you found them, you will often have to search through multiple folders to find all the files you need. So instead, if you place them all in a folder where you will use them, you don't have this problem. 4. Use shortcuts for frequently accessed files. If you have a neatly organized folder structure, you often end up with a deep folder structure. And 
If you need to access files more than a few times, you spend a lot of time clicking through these folders to access your file. So what you will do is right click and add it to your quick access bar on Windows. For Mac, you can do the same, but add it to the favorites. So the next time you need to open one of these oftenly used files, you can just click it on the quick access bar. 5. Use keyboard shortcuts. I still see inexperienced people doing copy and paste with right clicks. And instead of doing this, learn the shortcuts. Here are my 12 favorite Windows Explorer shortcuts. You don't need to memorize all of them at once, but try to implement some of them over the time. And don't use right click for copy and paste. Now as promised, let me show you my ultimate project template. It is stored in the media creation bucket under 2025. Let's open the template project. Inside I have three folders. The footage folder has three subfolders, photos, videos and audio. In the photo and video folder I will create another subfolder with the date of the footage I captured. Then I will have a folder with the camera name and sometimes I also include a proxies folder. If I have footage of different days, I can now sort by it and I see which camera was used to create this footage. In the audio folder, we again have three subfolders, the production audio for audio from external mics like my shotgun mic, the soundtrack, and the license of the soundtrack and then a folder for sound effects. Now let's go back to the root of the project template and have a look at the next folder. Project. In this I store all the data I need to work with the project. For example assets from clients, working renders which is when I want to render things out to see how they look and DaVinci Resolve archives. And the third folder quite easy, export. Here I will put all of the finished files like edited photos, complete videos and thumbnails. By following my framework you will have a file organizing system that saves your time, reduces stress and you will never lose any files again. Let me know what your biggest challenge with file organizing is and if you enjoyed this video you will probably like this one too.